Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, Pete and I have been uh, keeping an eye on Doppler radar, some isolated showers, even some thunderstorms. So let's take a look. There have been some uh, downpours, and while these storms are not con considered severe, meaning large hail, damaging wind, we did have one report of some small pea-sized hail in Boroughville about 15, 20 minutes ago. So let's kind of take a radar tour. See, one batch that came through Providence a little while ago is weakening as it head towards New Bedford, but the more uh, generous downpours and even some isolated thunderstorms in the northern part of the state and the areas of orange and red indicating some downpours and the rumble of thunder getting even closer. This is now crossing Route 295, so more than likely slowing down traffic. Here's Providence Metro. So this will be coming through the Providence Metro area very shortly, getting real close. Uh, Greenville 44, Smithfield Route 5 getting a downpour right now, crossing Route 295 shortly as it tracks off to the east and southeast. Doesn't last long, you know, 20, 25 minutes, and then it's gone. But this area of yellow has the potential to produce non severe, small uh, pea sized hail. Another area, some heavy rain. Out towards South Kingstown, uh, moving towards Narragansett in the next 10 to 15 minutes, and then moving offshore. And then beyond that, I do expect uh, skies to be clearing out and drying out. You can see some raindrops on the camera lens as round number three of some showers and some scattered thunderstorms works through. It's at 48 degrees right now, along with that uh, high humidity. And the uh, wind speeds have come down, but in any thunderstorms or downpours, they could pick up briefly. Smithfield now, you're getting that downpour uh, with the temperature coming in. At at uh, 46. So tracking drier weather tonight despite the showers we're getting right now. And this will be quick during the early evening. I'm thinking once we get beyond 7, 8 o'clock in the evening, the risk of any additional showers is gone. Gusty wind is going to be a factor over the next several days, including tomorrow through Sunday. In fact, some of the strongest winds may actually occur over the weekend on Sunday, and we still have rain coming up for part not the entire, but part of the weekend. High pressure builds in for tomorrow. That means uh, some sunshine coming up. And overall, your Friday, despite a windy day, is looking pretty good. Temperatures upstream are chilly, but uh, seasonably cool. So we expect temperatures tomorrow afternoon to be topping out mid and upper 40. So once we get beyond 7, 8 o'clock this evening, the risk of any showers or thunderstorms coming to an end. Your Friday is windy and cool. Most of Saturday day, the daylight hours, especially in the morning, is actually dry. We're thinking Saturday evening, Saturday night, the best chance for rain. Leftover shower Sunday morning, drying out Sunday afternoon. Temperature at around 52. Heading out next couple of hours, obviously, still keep the umbrella on standby. All right. Thanks, Tony. You